It's your boy Indian Guru in the house back with another bang on video where ladies and gentlemen we've got more news about Arsenal for you guys. So sit back, relax and enjoy everything. Well, uh, the king has spoken and uh, we'll just tell you that what exactly everything was go is actually uh, running around because I think... Uh, you know, Jurgen Klopp is not happy with the fixtures that they are fixed with. So let's see everything. If Arsenal can qualify or not against Aston Villa, we we just won't. Uh, if anything comes up, I'll definitely definitely let you know. So moving on, the first news that's coming your way. Arsenal legend Thierry Henry has actually revealed how long it took him to adjust to life in England. Well, Henry joined the Gunners in the summer of 1999 from Juventus, despite going on to score 175 times we know how exactly what Henri became but let's listen to let's relive the story to what the king had to say he said it took three months people don't remember but i never used to come on the game that changed everything for me was Middlesbrough at home in November, my first season. We won 5-1 with three goals from Overmars and two from Bayerkamp. Kanu was playing and Sukha came on. I stayed on the bench. It's November now. I scored Southampton and then I'm not dying anything again. I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not doing anything again. After that game home, I went back and I actually took the tube. I walked amongst the fans and nobody saw me. I left with bag and track suit. I was alone really and nobody cared and I was on the tube and I remember that I went to my room and said this to stop now. This had to stop now. I was listening to the voices in my head. You should do this and that. I have to be myself and make people understand my game. By doing that, you have to be good and can't be sitting here saying this and that. You know. Uh, you play and don't score. When people saw me starting to play on the left, cutting the ball back, goal and assist, let me move, let me move a bit then. Scoring a goal from outside of the box, people are like he's a bit different. Pe before people are accepting of what you are, you have to give them something to allow you to be you. That game was very important for me in realizing what I needed to do. I needed to wake up really early if I wanted to move Dennis Bergkamp and Kanu. You come after Anelka who was destroying the league so this this comes out in support of uh, Nicola Pepe because uh, it completely completely uh, resonates to what Nicola Pepe is actually suffering from let's see if he resonates to what his wavelength is and we would definitely want to see the Nicola Pepe of the last season what he did with Lil. Moving on, Granit Xhaka could be axed by Arsenal boss Unai Emery after the F word rant at fans. Well, at Wednesday's Carabao Cup defeat to Liverpool, Emery said, Granit Xhaka, now I cannot say how we are going to play on Saturday. We have to take it step by step. I think we can again speak about the same. We are in the first step after his mistake. Now is for him to recover as a person. Well, Hector Bellerin actually captained Arsenal against Liverpool last night in the absence of Granit Xhaka. Well, that's what he had to say after the game. He says, I have to say it was a great it was great to play this kind of game. Loads of mistakes from both the sides. And those are things that we've got to look at and analyse. And you know, we've got to get better at it. The tempo of the play, the goals, this is football. This is what you play football for. For nights like this, whatever the score, today we are gutted. But I'm sure that's there's going to be nights that go in our favour. This is the thing when you've been so close to winning and you lose at the end, it hurts. But this is what pushes you to do better in the next game. Class from Hector as always. We ex I expect Hector to come up with something with, with class, nothing else. That, that's the reason why I want him to be the Arsenal captain in the future. Moving on. Arsenal are said to be prepared to fight it out at Manchester City to sign Isco as a replacement for Mesut Ozil. Oh my god, reports in Spain suggest that uh, the Gunners are looking at the Real Madrid star to be the playmaker at the Emirates. Well, Unai Emery is hardly hiding the fact that he no, no longer sees Mesut Ozil as a key part of his first team plans. Isco could be the right uh, replacement for Ozil. They say the Gunners and City are prepared to do a battle. Let's see who wins. Well, Jose Mourinho has sensationally been linked with Arsenal in the last few days. I mean, first one was locked. Here, here's something. This is a special thing that I'd like to say to all the fans to what Jose Mourinho did speak about Arsenal. Yeah. He labelled Arsene Wenger a specialist in failure. With Unai Emery under pressure, some fans want Mourinho to step in and I would really, really want you guys to listen. He said, the only thing that I know is what I don't want. And what I don't want is crystal clear. 
but i want the general profile of course but i can't say clubs or countries i am quite pathological in this sense that i have to play to win and then if i win or i don't win that's my problem and the players and the clubs and the structure but i need a project where the feeling is i play to win if someone gives me a wonderful incredible amazing 10 year contract and tells me the objective of the team is to stay in the first part of the table if you finish 7th or 8th or 9th it is perfect that's not for me that's my nature of course sometimes i remember that what i won before but it's not me so my next is to fight to win well moving on fabian share has actually opened up about granit shaka well he's not happy with how the arsenal fans have actually um been actually behind granit shaka he says i played with him for years and i know how he is as a person he's doing everything for arsenal which is why he's captain he's a very good guy and people aren't seeing this i will see him in a couple of weeks with the international team and i'll give him a hug it's very hard for a player when your own fans are against you then you do something emotional that people don't understand it would be very difficult situation for any player to deal, to have to deal with that to have that from your own fans is the worst thing that can happen to you nobody wants to see things like this i'm happy that this has never happened to me it's really really a very tough moment and if our fans can get behind granit shaka i think we can we can forgive him he but he has to apologize that's true but we should forget forgive him moving on ex arsenal striker alan smith has had his say on mesut ozil he believes uh, he says this when you see ozil in this kind of form it does make emery's decision to leave him out look like a strange one he's making the team tick and has shown fantastic vision let's talk about what jamie caraga has to say had to say about mazur ozo he says um I said before the game that Ozil should run the game. He's a World Cup winner playing against younger players. He was really good and his role in both goals was fantastic. He showed his class and composure. I I'm not Ozil's biggest fan, but you cannot tell me he's not good enough to get into this Arsenal team. This isn't a great Arsenal team. The criticism with Ozil is whether he can take Arsenal to the Premier League title or the Champions League. But at the moment they are trying to get into the top 4, so he has to be in the team. in their team of best 11 no one is doing anything consistent for arsenal at the moment not just ozo arsenal are in a position where so many players are not at the top of their game that they almost have to put up with what ozil doesn't do forget about playing him in the big games play him against the likes of crystal palace who they let a two goal lead slip against us against on sunday and see out games if you look at the front three i'm sure they would love to have ozil feeding them Well, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the news, views, and everything about Arsenal will definitely be served to you guys on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and be a part of this community. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.